Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Alright, continuing with our movie poster series, this video, along with the next few, are going to focus on Zero's sword. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a reflection. It's pretty simple, but it does take a few steps. So let's get started. Open up your Zero folder, double click on the Zero Smart object, press OK. Zoom out a little bit. Click on one of our mask layers. Commander Control J to duplicate it. Click on our new layer. Get rid of the mask. Press delete, do not press apply. And then grab the pen tool. And you're gonna mask around the sword. You're going to do it around the sword in a way that it goes around his fist and his arm and around the arm handle. Because that's the only parts I want to reflect. So bear with me and I'm gonna get started. Okay, now that we have our mask, we want to move it above our other two masks so it can be fully editable. And as you can see, it's got its own mask. So now that I have my sword fully masked, I want to take away from this middle part. So just go up here to the top options panel. Make sure that subtract from path area is selected. And just delete from our path. Okay, there we go. So the next thing I want to do is, in order to create the reflection, add the background element in my original poster to the sword. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We go to the freezer burn poster. We make sure that our background is selected. With the move tool, we click and drag this image into our freezer burn poster. And now what we want to do is singularly select the sword mask from the sword mask layer, select our background layer, get rid of the original mask that it has, delete, and click on add layer mask. Now the next step you want to do is drop the opacity down to 20% and you've got a pretty good reflection. Now just to keep things as accurate as we can, we're gonna transform our image to best suit the reflection. So make sure your mask is unlinked, that way the mask itself does not get affected. Commander Control T, as you can see the image is huge, so we wanna bring it down. Right click and click distort, that way we can actually create an accurate reflection. Try and think about the angle at which the sword is placed when you're making this change. That's pretty good, I like it there. Press OK, or press Enter. And that's a pretty good reflection. We'll turn back on the other layers. And there you go, his sword is reflected. Command S to save it so it'll apply to our poster. And there you go, it's pretty good. There's before, and there's after. And that's how you apply a reflection. So in the next video, I'm gonna actually start adding elements. Per the client's request, he asked for some sort of tape or some sort of handle to be put on certain parts of the sword. And uh, as difficult as that may seem, it's really not that hard. At least, I'm gonna give it a try. So join me for the next video, and I'll show you how to do that.